大家好，我是 Terry， 呃，欢迎到这个礼拜在 Tate and Yoko， 呃，我们大家都要祝你们呃一个很好的春节，呃，还有新年快乐，呃，恭喜发财，呃，龙年新大运。So welcome to a another week here at Tate and Yoko. We have the Lunar New Year right upon us. It's right around the corner. Hopefully, a lot of people have their Lovely lunar near dragon jeans in their hands by now, so you can have a lovely feast this Friday.、Um, that's just a little introduction from me here today. Going to see more of that later on in this video.、Um, but for now, I'm going to start off how we normally do. I'm just going to give you the quick fit check, the top to bottom, the bottom to top, as always for me. Bottom to top, I got my Jim Green African Rangers, the huge. I got my True Guy King of Lord Twos, the huge. I got my veg tan all natural belt again. The huge, and of course a nice circling it tee here in navy.、Uh, a couple accessories. Got my G-Shock watch, which I've had for years. I got my、uh, Kershaw El Chipi gets it, gets a dumb pocket knife. Whip it out, whip it out, whip it out there. You want to see it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Assisted opening. You know that packing tape doesn't stand a chance. And of course my special EDC over here. I got my Kiehl's lip balm there. It's got me going. Keeps me moist here in these dry, dry, dry winter months because it gets so dry over here. So dry, you guys. So dry. What are you listening、oh, to? What am I listening to? I want to try and see if I still have it here on my phone. I'm listening to、um, Air Supply, All Out of Love, because I'm feeling a little sad for a loss. Would you lose? No. Onwards. I can't、right. talk. <laughs> Sunning Phylok. Happy New Year! Happy Chinese New Year!、Uh, I'll start with my fit. I am wearing the in situ black watch cap. I have my shot、um, 618 horse hide perfecto jacket.、Um, this keeps me warm in our frigid office. Circular knit tee, black buffalo belt, MIJ 13s. We、uh, have a tentative release date for these, so these are going to be coming in not too too long. I'm very excited for the release of these. And I have my Mr. Liu Westgo Boss on feet. I have Benchmade 940, my daily driver. And what else we got? Since we're showing off our、uh, chapsticks, mine's the smile from my、uh, dentist, my friend who's a dentist. And this is raspberry pomegranate flavor. So good stuff. And then,、uh, lastly, I am listening to. I'm listening to a bunch of stuff, but、uh, this song's pretty good. If you're a fan of cowboy bebop, you'll know this one. This is the ending credits song. I've also been listening to a little bit of Enya.、Um, <laughs> what else we got here? I can't do it. A little bit of Air, Foo Fighters, Blink 182, Arctic Monkeys. So that's what I've been listening to. Who's gonna go next? I go next. I was gonna say something, but、uh, I forgot how to pronounce it. So, and the other thing I learned is not so nice.、Um, say it. Happy no, Lunar New Year, everyone! I'm not gonna say that, but bye, bye. Not, not, not saying it. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> Happy Lunar New Year, everyone!、Um, it's Vincent here. We're gonna go from top to bottom. So I have my toupee on. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> This is real hair. <laughs> This is please don't slander my name. Uh, I have the easy shirt, diamond dots, and、um, cream. I have the yeah seven millimeter thick brown belt, the、uh, natural veg tan keychain. Yeah, you know what it、Drop、is. Card、membership. case. Come on. So thick. You got how many cards you got in there? Don't worry about it. <laughs> what are you, the scammers? <laughs> have me my natural indigo salvage groovy guys, and then my sambezies, and then、uh, what have I been listening to? Oh, it's actually playing right now. It's playing the whole time. <laughs> This I can't pronounce that either. Try it. Try it. Ichello. Ichello in una stanza, and then my everyday.、Uh, Carry, Mr. Watkins, J.R. Watkins lip balm. I didn't buy this. Someone gave it to me. I think it might have been used before too. So, <laughs> stolen lip chat. <laughs> no, it wasn't stolen. It was given. Sure, he gave it to me. 
Hello, everybody. Um, let's go. What'd you do? You went from the top up? I go from the bottom. Uh, sorry, bottom. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go the opposite. I'm going to go from the top down. So um, I have my heavyweight Terry Zip Navy hoodie. I love it. I wear it every single time. You all know this. My in situ gray hood, uh, sweater, crew neck. Love it. That's like I have my Saul Black Salvage Strong Guys. I have my trusty key hook. I have my Boule harness boots and my ring. You all know my Bulova Oceanographer. And that's it for me today. Nothing, nothing special. Nothing, nothing special. As the lore goes, you stole that ring. I, it, as the lore does go, I did steal this ring. Hot, hot <laughs> ring there. Hot ring, yeah, everyone wants this one. All right, so next, Terry, are we gonna do the segment? We are gonna do a segment. We got our boy Vinny here behind the camera here. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's right. You wanna start us off, Vinny? Oh, what? Pressure? I don't even know what segment we're doing. What segment are we doing? I don't even know, but I'll just do my fit check. But yeah, exactly. hey, hey. Chukma oh. Namoy, everybody, as you may all know, that is, uh, I don't know the direct, the direct translation, but I think it's like Happy New Year in Vietnamese. Which is kind of embarrassing because I am Vietnamese. <laughs> but anyways, uh, took my numb way. Uh, today we got the heavyweight black Terry hoodie. You know what I'm saying? Uh, underneath, I'm not naked. I have a circular knit tee in black with a natural veg ten belt that I basically um, <coughs> what was the word rescued from my locker because yeah. I left this in the locker for months on end. Holding up my uh, King of Lords and stacking on top of my King of, uh, well, my, I got my Pumas on. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't take a nap during my lunch break today. So I'm sorry, guys. There you go. <laughs> oh, in terms of what I'm listening to, we are listening to Do It Like Me Baby by D4L. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. I love myself some dirty self music. Some Laffy Taffy? Some Laffy Taffy. You know what I'm saying? All right, but yeah, get it. All right, over here. So I think next on the list of things to do over here is a quick little preview of what's coming sure. up. Sure. All right, we can do a quick preview. Okay, so over here, uh, we have a couple of new items coming over here. It's this Friday, like you know how it normally happens. Every Friday we drop a new release. For this Friday over here, we have a classic over here, a classic in the making. It's the a tried and true selvage over here. And I think check out this killer flash here. I mean, like skeletons are cool. Skeletons driving cars, even cooler. Look at those bloodshot eyes. I know it's a skeleton with bloodshot eyes, pretty cool. But the jean over here, I really like it. It is a nice middle of the road, nothing too crazy. One might say a tried and true formula over here. Just a nice indigo selvage here, right hand twill with a contrast yellow stitching over here. So these are dropping this Friday at 11 a.m. And also along that, we also, I think we have a true, we have a strong guy. Yeah, we have a strong guy over here. So we have a strong guy in natural indigo. So this is a very familiar fabric. It's one of our core fabrics. We've had this one since the very beginning. It is a fantastic piece of denim. And now it's in the extremely cool and hip strong guy fit. The strong guy fit over here, beloved by uh, superstar Justin over here. He is a strong guy. He's a strong guy and he loves the strong guy fit. So he's always wearing the strong guy every single day. He's a big fan and I'm sure he's excited that we're getting more of these fabrics in this fantastic fit, which is a, uh, then a, again, if you don't know, the strong guy is pretty much a relaxed straight with a kind of a wide leg opening. Justin, can you show off your kind of wide leg opening? I definitely show how So you sized up though, right? I do size up. I size up a little bit. Um, I size about a size. It's pretty wet. It's a wide jean. Nothing insane. They're not like Jinkos or anything. You're not getting some kind of like rave pant, but they are, you know, compared to say the true guy, it's considerably wider. Would you say these are a heritage jean or a fashion jean? Uh, it depends on how you wear them. If you size up like four times and you wear them uh, with Sambezis like Vincent, you might be erring on the side of, you know. Size up four times. I wear my actual Oh, I know size. you do. I know you do. I know you do. Um, depends on how you wear them. I'm kind of like in between. I used to wear like really like I 
The people I hung out with in, skate, in high school were skateboarders. I skateboarded a lot. I still do. I will always will. I always wear the bigger pants. So the strong guy is the closest thing what we have to um, what I used to wear back in the day. Um, <laughs> however, kind of going back on what Garrett said, it's kind of in between. It all depends on how you wear them. You know, they're your jeans and you can go in either direction. So that's up to the viewer to decide. But my opinion is somewhere in between. That's my opinion. I think the context nowadays it is it's a fashion jean. Like I, all the people I see on emails, you know who you are. The jeans didn't fit how I wanted. TikTok kids. Yeah, you TikTok kids. I see you guys. <laughs> you, you, you guys. Wait, don't you were one of them? Uh, just because I'm on TikTok, I was wearing the strong guy because I got I got gaslighted into buying it. No. From who? Garrett. <laughs> He's my number one enabler. I'll put on jeans like let's mod, let's take a photo, and then at the end of it, I've somehow pulled out money to buy these jeans. I don't regret it, but like, I think the strong guy is an amazing fit. Um, I feel it is more heritage, but like, I guess in the context of like the crowd that is buying it or the crowd that I see you walking in, like you guys aren't fooling me just because you wear your boots and your mullets. I know where you got these jeans from. Everyone buy the strong guys and then the groovy guys first. Get both. Get both now and natural indigo. Yes. Yeah, no, no, yes. Okay. Also, uh, what's next? So before we um, go on, this is going to be available this Friday. Shorts Love. I think this is yeah, 12 and a half ounce bed shine leather patch. Bayzad has a great video on these, which you can watch. He's go. He goes over all the details, but a nice little step up. It's got all the you know little features. Ticks all the boxes for the raw denim heads. I think it's a great all around jean you can wear all year, and uh, kind of goes for every occasion. But without going into all the details, this is going to be uh, dropping this Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern time, tatanyoko.com. The Strong Guy, or the Strong Guy, uh, Natural Indigo, is going to be releasing the following week. So not this Friday, but the next Friday. So again, keep an eye out for those. But what if you want something right now? What if you, you got some money burning a hole in your pocket, Terry? What if I want to buy something right this second? What can I get? Well, we can show off something that you guys may not know that we have over here. We've got a cool collection of these new chore coats. That's right. And we have chore coats with buttons and without buttons. And I'm talking zippers. That's right. You don't see a lot of zippers from us, but look at this. We have here a lovely, lovely left hand twilt chore coat with the zipper. So it follows our chore coat uh, fit over here. This means we got these nice triple stitches around here for this extra heavy duty look over here, but it is a zipped for your pleasure and convenience over here. This is a pretty cool one. I'm just gonna show off this nice left hand twill. It's a very crispy uh, left hand twill. It's a crispy boy. So this is a great little uh, one. You could definitely shove a hoodie under this here for some nice colder weather stuff. Mm. Uh, wearing this is a fun one. I kind of oh, like this. Looks great. We also have the exact same fit over here, but in a blanket line. So this one comes with a little bit of built-in insulation. You've seen this blanket line for, before from us. It's great. Very classic retro look. And this one's a lot softer. It doesn't quite have that kind of like the crispiness of the uh, left hand full here. So this one's gonna drape on you a bit better. And if you still wanna keep it traditional with our chore coat fit, we the exact same things, but with buttons. The fit that you know and love, this is the exact same thing. We have the uh, same lining under here, the blanket lined, but it has a classic chore coat fit with the buttons down the front, two pockets on the bottom, we're putting odds and ends and or hands. Oh, what's this over but here? But wait, there's more. Oh, there's more. Indigo yeah. by indigo blanket lines. Whoa. Or something indigo by, well, I guess kind of is indigo, but dark blue indigo blanket lines. There you go. This one's called, yeah, blanket lined indigo in Chorco. So we got four great options available on the website, tatenyoko.com right now so you can head over and grab one of those and stay warm uh this winter time you don't have to wear your leather jacket indoors like i do all right next up we have warehouse update any other updates yeah so as you guys can see we've done a little bit of remodeling over here we got like spaces for days because i mentioned last time we're going to be having jeans for days all this will be coming down and then we're going to have a cool new exciting layout hopefully we can preview that sooner rather than later but it does mean exciting things for all of us involved here 
we're going to have a lot of new um, spring summer fits just kind of like overflowing. They're already here on the shelves in the warehouse. It's going to be exciting, but also means we're in a nice big open space. Maybe we'll film some more videos or do some more shows over here. Watch the space for more exciting video ideas. I won't let those boys in New York have all the fun because I know they had a blast on the weekend. I hope you guys saw that, by the way, on our YouTube channel. There's a lovely little vlog by Garrett for the meetup that we had in New York, which reminds me, like and subscribe, everybody. Like and subscribe, ring the bell. This is the part of the video where I remind you to definitely follow us. Tell your friends, your families, uncles, cousins, kids, everyone. Ring the bell, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Spread the love. Tell us what you're listening to. Yeah, what have right. you been listening to? We want to hear your recommendations and then maybe we'll listen to them in the office Probably. or in the warehouse up here, if it's good. Yeah, we got a radio and a lot of time to listen to music over here. So definitely it'll probably get some airtime. And on that note, I think we're going to go straight to my pick of the week over here. I have a special winner. You guys know how it works. I put a word out in the video every week and then we choose a winner at random and they get a little special prize, a couple extras from us. Today, we're going to come back to basics and we show the whole process. But first, the winner, Kevin from Florida says, Thank you for introducing a fit that doesn't crush the life out of the poor anguilliform. Well, that's pretty good over there, Kevin. Yes, he's talking about this True Guy Midnight Slub that he ordered over here. So, Kevin, let's go pick your True Guy Midnight Slub, and I'll show you the process works. So, come along with me, Vinny. Walk with me down this aisle of jeans. I come over here. All these jeans waiting for hungry, hungry denim heads to... Enjoy. See some things over here, some couple of items. Don't forget, we still have skateboards for sale. We do have skateboards for sale. I'm gonna come hang a Larry right by the belts. And oh, look at this. Why, it's exactly the genie was looking for and it's already hemmed. What a find. Over here, let's bring this to the shipping station. So we're gonna go right back the way we came. We're gonna go back over here. We're gonna go buy the Mortys. We're gonna go buy all the coilovers here. We got our 11 ounce stretch. We have our left hand twills. Mostly boxes. And we're gonna kind of ship it off just like you know, we used to do back in the day. Go straight to the ship station. There we go. We're gonna dump this guy right here. Fire this up there so we're gonna make sure there's no personal info. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. That's a good sound. But over here, Kevin, because we chose your order, you're going to get a very epic special prize. You guys have seen it before. This is the super cool, super exclusive denim tote bag that we've been giving out to a couple of lucky winners. So don't forget to write the word of the week in your comments this week for your chance to grab this really, really cool bag. And I'll just pack it on the gear of love. It's going right over here. Does he get a keychain thing? You know what? Everyone who writes in gets a keychain. So if you do write an order and we don't pick you, don't worry. You're still going to get one of these fantastic vegetable tan, super exclusive leather keychains. The only way to get this, the only way to get this cool piece of naked and famous history is to write to us with the special word of the week in the comment section of your order. We will throw in for you. We'll throw in a couple extra stickers. Sometimes you might write a funny note. I like that we leave a little drawing. Everyone does a little different thing. I know I've seen Garrett do a pretty cool tag across the whole order. That's how you know that Garrett shipped your order. So you can try to guess which one of us has shipped your order. I got all these goodies out over here and it's going straight into the bag. It's almost in the bag. It's gonna be in the bag real soon. You can't dox this poor fellow. So we're gonna keep your private details how they were, private. We'll ship it out over here. Practice motion a thousand times. There you go. In the box. Kevin is coming your way off the Florida land. Uh, enjoy your jeans, enjoy your bag, and stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you too can win a cool prize or a smiley face. All right. All right. So, next, we're going to talk about uh, leather patch care. So, we've had a few people email, I think. Someone in the live stream was asking some comments on videos and people are asking, you know, what should I do with the leather patch on my jeans? Um, so 
I just want to give a little bit of advice. Maybe Terry wants to give his advice. You guys can say what you want to say. Um, but basically when it comes to taking care of your leather patch, when you wash, you're going to want to cold wash and hang to dry. That's the official uh, recommendation. If you do anything else, if you hot wash, if you hot dry, there is some chance that you might damage the leather patch. It may shrink, it may crack, it may harden up, it may turn into a hard shell taco, which has happened to me uh, with the Mr. Poopy butthole jeans, if you, if you know that collection. Um, but so we had some people who, who, you know, they had a little bit of indigo transfer onto their, their natural indigo, or sorry, their, their uh, natural veg tan patch. And they wanted to ask, you know, how can I prevent this? How can I keep the patch in the best possible condition? So if you're not washing your jeans and you find that the leather is getting a little bit dried out, what you can do is just apply a little bit of oil to that. Now, don't be putting olive oil, avocado oil, canola oil on your patch, please. No vegetable oils. Please stick to uh, oils that are designed for leather. So personally, I like to just go with uh, any boot oil that I have lying around because I usually have that on hand and it works fine. So if you got Obanoffs, Neat's Foot oil, mink oil, basically any oil that's designed for uh, for like leather jackets or for boots. And you can put this on before you wash it or after you wash it. I find if you put it on before, it's gonna kind of keep it a little bit more moist. Or if you don't put it on before, that's fine too. You can, once the leather has completely dried, once the jeans are 100% dry, put a small coat on. And then when you're putting the oil on, less is more. You don't need a lot, just a, a very thin coat because you don't want to have excess oil on there and then it gets on the rest of the jean or your clothes. Um, I think that's about it. Like, uh, Terry, you got any other recommendations? Yeah, no, I have a very similar experience. Uh, I recently had to wash my uh, King of Lords. Um, actually, not recently, but when I got them, I did it twice because I want to kind of shrink them down. They are, after all, unsanitized jeans. We recommend washing them. And so they do it twice in a row. So that can be a little bit hard on any type of leather. Leather does not really like going to the washing machine, especially on hot, uh, like I did. So what I did is I basically kind of pre-treated my leather with a little bit of oil. Um, I like to use a uh, Canadian bee seal, but um, what I did was basically, I just kind of massaged mine in a little bit there. Cause in this case for me, it's acting kind of like an ablative coating, like, mm -hmm. you know, that hot water and soap, it will pull grease off of oil. Uh, sorry, it'll pull the grease and like oils out of leather and it'll dry it up, making it more vulnerable to like distorting or cracking there. So it kind of like the more it has when it goes in, it'll come off and then it'll be all right. And then I always make sure to do it a little bit right after, after it's freshly dried. Um, some leathers will naturally do better than others, right? So if you have like a veg tan patch, that's one of the most vulnerable. I don't think you can expect to put like a plain veg tan patch in the watch and have it come out. All right, yeah. I think it's like Basically, almost guaranteed. The veg tan patches are gonna age and darken and have the the most patina. So if you just even get it wet, it's gonna darken. If you leave it out in the sun, it's gonna darken. If you oil it, it will for 110% darken. So that's something to keep in mind. If you like it lightly colored, you like that like a pale looking veg tan. I mean, it's not gonna stay like that forever, but putting oil on it is definitely gonna darken it up. So keep that in mind. Just I find like any kind of leather boot really treat it like a leather boot. Yeah, okay. same, same. And then the other thing too, I find that the chrome tanned leathers are more or less susceptible to damage in the washing machine. So for example, like, uh, you know, any of my MIJs, I'll put them through the wash on hot. I put them through the dryer. We don't condone it, but personally, that's what I do. I know that's what Beza does. Like I said, for my Mr. Poopy buttholes, I put it through on hot shrink them the most, put them through the dryer. And it was kind of, if it lives, it lives. If it dies, it dies. And uh, the patch definitely died. So <laughs> if you have a veg tan patch, you gotta be real careful with it. Cold water, hang to dry, please no hot um, drying or else you'll probably be sending an email to me being like, uh, my patch is turned into a broken hard shell taco. And uh, yeah, so you guys have anything else to say about patches? Yes, I mean, apart from taking care of it, oiling it, all this goodness, um, when you buy patches from us and you attach them, please follow the recommendation of if they are heavyweight, sew all around because when they're heavier and you're putting your belt under, they're more susceptible for the stitching to break. Also, the leather tab is not a pull tab. Our, you know, like when you put your jeans on, hold the waistband, do not pull on the leather tab. It's another way to take care of it and make sure it 
stays attached to your jeans. Yes. Belt loops. Belt loops are not pull tabs and yeah. neither are leather patches. Yeah. They are designed to keep your belt up, not to pull as hard as you can if yeah. the jeans are too tight. Well, keep waist. that in mind. If they're too tight, send us an email. <laughs> Stop putting them on. <laughs> okay, I think that's about it for that. We have Terry's word of the day. Yes, all right. So I got a special word of the day here. Let's see if I can try and print this one out there so you guys can follow at home over here. So the word of the week for this week is... Badinage. 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 The word of the week for this week is badinage. Put this word in your uh, comment section of your order, and we will definitely send you a reply of some sort, we'll, whether it be like a funny picture, stories, letters, stickers, or something, and you'll be entered to win one of our fabulous prizes here. It could be anything, it could be a shirt, it could be a bag. Sometimes it's even happened that Mr. Brand himself has made origami for some lucky viewers. So anything is possible, uh, it's a random draw. Don't forget to enter that in the comment section of your order. And we will see you again next week. And again, I want to wish everyone out there a very happy uh, Lunar New Year. Um, teach us some more. Teach us some more. Some more Mandarin. Um, teach us some yes, more Mandarin. That's right. I did used to live in Taiwan. So, like, um, you know, I was able to do it. 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 I was able to that's right. Zai Jian. You gotta, you gotta tell the people what it what it means. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You went so fast. <laughs> yeah, I went so fast there. Yeah, just saying, I don't get a chance to speak Chinese all the time. So it's wishing everyone a very happy uh, Lunar New Year. Um, you know, good health, prosperity. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We can what, have what like, does that mean, congratulations. And I hope you come into a big, big fortune, like a big wealth of resources. All right. What, what about the, the Sun Tai Yin Hong? Uh, <laughs> my Cantonese is a little rough. The body health. Oh, the body health. That's right. We'll definitely want some of the body health over there. Is that the, the one of the dragon? No, no, no. The dragon know. is Long Ma Tsing San. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, Garen and I definitely speak a different form of Chinese there. So that one's a little bit trickier for me. It's the dragon horse energy. We hope you got that dragon yeah, horse yeah, energy. Definitely want that dragon horse energy there. And to have like a. Um, you know, like a health energy, just like a long dragon there, because it is the dragon here. So I hope you definitely enjoy that as well. All right, I think that's all, friends. So happy new, uh, happy new year! See you next time. Don't forget to tune in every Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern for Bayza and Risa. Subscribe, like the Nate Famous YouTube channel, like our videos, drop us a comment, and be nice to everyone. Be nice. Thank you. Be nice. Love you. Bye bye now. Bye, Landila. <laughs> See you later. Trực một năm mới đã xong mà không uống bia.